Hey guys, you're watching Tech Edit. My name is Basil, and today we're going to be talking about the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Undoubtedly one of the best, if not the best, camera phones that I've seen in my life, but I don't want you to take my word for it, because if you've seen my Find N3 video, you'll know that I've worked with Oppo as a contractor, so I'm not in a position to be completely objective on this, but I am in a position to know a lot about Oppo and what it's doing. So let's get talking about the Find X7 Ultra and see exactly what's so good about this phone. Really, it's in a nutshell, the camera. Yes, there's a lot of other awesome stuff about it. The design looks slick, super, super sophisticated, vegan leather back available in three colors, blue, black, and brown. The brown's kind of like the Find X6 Pro. Blue looks really, really regal, and the black with the stitching, really smart, super, 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 Super distinguished. Flat tops and bottoms, kind of like old Nokia Lumia 800, really nice stylistic, and the curved screen is one of the brightest screens, brightest QHD screen that has ever been been on a smartphone. So loads of great stats here. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, 16 gigs RAM, 5,000 milliamp battery, 50 watt wireless charging, 100 watt SuperVOOC wired charging, the list goes on. But those cameras. There are four of them, four 50 megapixel cameras. And what's so cool about them, each one has the largest or one of the largest sensors in its category. The widest camera is a 14 millimeter ultra wide. That's got a 0.6 time zoom. Then that goes to the one time zoom camera, which has a 23 millimeter wide lens. Then you've got a three time zoom, 72 millimeter, and that's got an IMX898 sensor, which if you know anything about sensors is a flagship sensor from a couple of years ago in a periscope camera, really cool. And then you go further, six times zoom camera, periscope lens as well. This is a first phone with two periscope cameras in it. Pretty awesome stuff. Now, the logic here is that because each camera is 50 megapixels with decent sized sensors, you can zoom between all of them without too much detail fall off. So you've got the new iPhone, for example, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you jump from a one times to a five times zoom at that three to four times zoom, the results are gonna be meh at that four to 4.9 times zoom. They will be terrible. Actually, you're much better off having a three or a four time zoom that's really good quality if you don't constantly zoom far out. This camera, the Find X7 Ultra, has that and it also has a six times optical reach as well. And what's really cool is that it uses the next generation of the Hypertone image engine, which I loved in my Find N3 review. And this is great for pulling out dynamic range from shots. What's really good about it is that this time around, it also helps with AI zooming. So it uses AI to manipulate that in-sensor cropping and get even better results from it. So you're effectively getting, yes, native 12 megapixel images through in-sensor cropping, but it's a able to kind of articulate the lines around text, for example, and lines to just clean things up. Is it natural? Probably not. Will it help make things look good? Based on my experience with Vivo's X100 Pro, definitely. This is Oppo's implementation, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it stacks up. There's another really cool point here though. The main camera, the one inch sensor, is a second generation one inch sensor from Sony. It's a Sony Light 900. It's the first one inch sensor that Sony's made for mobiles specifically. And as a result, it's much more power efficient. What does this mean? It means less heat, obviously, less battery drain, obviously, but more importantly, it means Oppo's been able to get loads of computational photography goodness to enhance the already incredible hardware in here. So while other phones have the same size camera sensors, on paper, none will have quite as an advanced camera sensor as this, and none will have the computational photography behind images of that camera sensor as the Find X7 Ultra. 
And the phone can also shoot 60 frames per second 4K Dolby Vision video as well, that's 10-bit video, 4K video from the front camera too, and there's an awesome new Hasselblad Master Mode inside. The Hasselblad Master Mode will allow for 15 megapixel, 16-bit raw photos with 13 stops of dynamic range. And across the Master Mode, right through to the portrait modes, the looks, the photo finishes effectively, the characteristics are emulating Hasselblad lenses, according to Oppo. So I'm really excited to see whether the hype stacks up to the incredible list of features that this camera phone has. Oppo's calling it the ultimate camera phone. And on paper, I'm not inclined to argue at this stage. I can't wait to get the final product in my hand. I'll be doing some videos on that. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is likely not an objective take because I've worked with Oppo. But having said that, hopefully you can agree with me that the technology at a purely base level in this thing looks incredibly cool. Hopefully you've enjoyed this different kind of video because I haven't actually got the phone to show you. If you have, let me know in the comments section below. Thumbs up, give me some uh, feedback. Really appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it because there will be a lot more like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.